This is conversion of a 63 Falcon steering column into electric power steering using the Vauxhall Corsa system which is uh, very popular with the classic car conversions. So that's the complete Corsa column. We won't be using the, the stalks which uh, go into electronics, not suitable for a classic car. This is a fixed column, not a tilting column. So we don't need the top bracket, so we'll chop that off and get rid of that. And what we're left with is this. It's the Corsa column without the top mounting bracket. Uh, and the stalks removed. This, the Corsa has a universal joint on the bottom which we don't need. So we'll use the bottom of the Falcon column and weld that into the yoke there. We'll do it on the lathe to get it absolutely straight. We don't want any we want a fixed shaft on it, but not a moving shaft. And 3D printed a brush to fit into the original tube which we'll cut and put on the bottom of the Corsa column so then the bit you see under the bonnet will look exactly stock uh, original. The top of the column will cut off and put over the top of the column so again over the dashboard it would look standard. The only bit that's non-standard will be under the dashboard. 3, 3D printed a top bush to replace the original cowling which will locate the original falcon tube to the Corsa tube on there. That also matches up with the Momo, oops, Momo steering column adapter which will give us the correct length for the steering column. The top end is slightly adjustable, that's the inner so you can see. So that has been adjusted by about 5mm to get the same length between the mounting bracket and the steering wheel boss as the original. The bottom end will have to be cut with that and the original bush to get the exact length of the original uh, back. Bottom shaft welded up on the lathe. You can see it sliding in and out nice and straight. Right, now we've got final assembly of the 63 Falcon or Mustang steering column. You can see the original Falcon end has been welded on, triple welded, so that should be nice and strong. The bottom part of the original steering column is going to fit on there. Another 3D printed part put on there to uh, line it up with the, the Corsa column. Put a bit of glue on there. And there's the 3D printed bush ABS in the bottom there, so that goes nicely over there, just locates onto there, so that's central. And now we've got to get the shaft in and line up with the quite tight because of the compression fittings. Well that does give you a little bit of adjustment on the bottom there. The bulkhead is here, so the bottom of the steering column that you'll see under the bonnet is standard Falcon. No different to the original. The only bit that you that is new is the bit that's under the dashboard. On the top side, we made an adapter bracket to fit the Corsa mountings to the 63 Ford mountings and welded the top tube onto that. On there like that. Two bolts through there and then the original mountings there. The 3D printed new top column top bush locates the two tubes together so that will go on there. Nice tight fit. Locating the two tubes and then the uh, Momo boss on the top there which is nicely lined up to the bush. So there we have it. The bit you see in front of the dash apart from the the new Bosch is standard Falcon and the bit you see under the bonnet is standard and hopefully this bit will all be under the dash. Just got the, put the motor back on and the controller underneath and test it. There's the wiring room. All it will need is a, a 30 amp ignition feed and a, a decent earth a speed controller or the power assistance controller. Don't mount that on the dashboard. Final test run of the electric power steering column. All wired up now. Connect the 
power to it, should hear it click. And it's on low. Turn it up. And it's dead easy to turn. Turn it down. Stiffer. You can leave it just turned up and then you have maximum power assistance. Easy to turn. So it's finished, ready to fit now.